Oh, no, fantastic no, little drop shot. Well, making him move, of course, across court will also get him out of position. So you can then get to his weakness. If he has a weak forehand or a weak backhand or whatever it happens to be, by moving him around, you're going to be able to get to that weakness. What you want to do and hit the ball at your opponent is mainly off the serve and serve into the body. That's where you, the guy has a hard time when the ball's coming into him to be able to get enough power on the return and do something with it. Well, you need power, which is what he's got on that forehand cross-court winner. Well, one break point at a time here. First serve. Well, in the end, that was a real epic game. Not surprising, he breaks serve with some great return. That's for sure. That's a good break. Well, the forehand, generally speaking, is the stronger side. You can get a little bit more power out of that one. And uh, to see a player skip around, ready to smack that forehand, well, that puts the opponent on the back foot. Me today, Pat Cash. Welcome to this outstanding day of tennis. Thanks, John. We're looking forward to a good match. It should be interesting. The key to Anna Ivanovic is how many winners she can hit. She can certainly hit a lot of them if she runs hot. If she's not, she needs to just calm down a little bit and play a little bit consistently for a while until the game gets going again. Well, this could be fantastic with these two girls. Let's get into it. What a powerful ace that was. Hit like a bullet. Absolutely thumping shots right from the word go. Obviously, there's a need to make your opponent get on the move and to challenge their fitness level, right, Pat? Well, absolutely. You've got to make your opponent move. You've got to test out their, their strengths and their weaknesses. You've got to see how quick they are, see if they can hear what their agility is like. And it's, uh, it's the only way, really, to get, get to the weakness is to, to find one of the strengths and then hit it back the other side. Pros and cons are hitting your shots deep. The pros are you give your opponent less time to come up with a pass and less confidence that he'll be able to do something with it. The cons, none. under a lot of pressure to hold herself. Well, she's about to serve at the start of the game. Not good. Not good. Well, she's down love 30, John. You know, she hasn't got the biggest serve in the world and she's made a couple of errors so far. Ooh, what tactics is she going to play now? I'll tell you, she's got to dig down a little bit here and really try to play some high percentage <laughs> tennis. Well, it's break point. I don't know if it's time to take a risk. Oh, a solid 
ground straight for a winner. Well, she's in big trouble here. Don't double break point. Well, he's a break of serve. She's certainly going to put a lot of pressure on her opponent now. When you feel like your opponent's returning well, usually what you do is you start to try to serve harder, go for closer to the lines, and that's what her opponent's doing there. She's but putting not, too much into it, you think? A little bit too much. Playing, getting out of her element there, not in the comfort zone, and that's because of the return game there. An excellent break of serve. Well, she's got it all lined up, John. She's uh, serving for the match. It's all about nerves now. <laughs> you dream about this position to get to a point where you're serving for the match. But she's got to step it up here and really focus in. That doesn't mean go for four aces the next game. Let's get some good high percentage first serves in. She's still trying. And finally, we're at match point. Well, it's all over. I'm going to be uh, pretty happy with that effort. I think there's some, there's some, certainly some things tried there, and it ended up working pretty well. Well, that's why she came here and played this event. She wanted to try a few different things. Obviously, you're trying to lead up and peak at the right moment, so you get to go at this event a little bit differently, but nonetheless, you want the win. So it was a job well done. Well, that's all we have from Wimbledon today and the fantastic center court here. Alongside John McEnroe, I'm Pat Cash saying goodbye for now.